Um, so I was looking at wanting to use this 50 watt panel from Renogy that was gifted to me uh, by a community member on the road, um, which I really appreciate it. He asked me not to tell anybody who it was that gave it to him, which is fine. So anyway, he knows who he is. Um, so trying to figure out, I, I think you guys have seen, I have the little Phoenix 200, which was, again, this was kind of a gift uh, for, or like a reward for doing some stuff for Renogy. Um, they sent me a little 200 watt Phoenix and I use it for all kinds of stuff. Um, you just saw my video where I use it to, to operate a food saver, which has a heating device inside that actually seals the bags and it handled it just fine. Um, I use it to charge my drones, my little speakers, my GoPros, um, my iPad. I use it for all kinds of little things. I never thought I would use it as much as I use it, to be honest. Uh, and it even works with my CPAP machine. Um, it doesn't work as long as I would like it to, to be honest, um, because getting it uh, to run the CPAP all night. My CPAP machine takes quite a bit of power. It's, it's really interesting. But um, I wanted a way to use, to make use of this panel, which again, has been sitting in my closet now for over a year. And I thought, or for almost a year, I thought maybe if I just, why don't I just use this to charge this? And so I went on Renogy and I found that they actually sell an MC4 connector charge cable for the Phoenix. This is a, just a little standard six millimeter thing. Now what's really funny is, is I purchased this and I was like, well, you know what? I'll get another one just in case, you know? And I went to go back to reorder it. It's no longer available at Renji. Within 24 hours after I bought this, they're no longer selling it. Not sure why, but I'll tell you, I've tried it. I've played with it and it, it works really well. Um, but here's the, what is crazy is the little E-Flex. So this was free. The E-Flex cost, I'll put the link below, um, which is the little 80 water. And it's so much more expensive than just a standard panel. And the way that we travel in the room that I have, I would have no problems finding storage for this on the road if I needed to bring it. And so, but it has, I don't have any, uh, like a ground mount for it or anything. Um, the little ground mount legs for the, the, the 30 watt panels are... Uh, not available right now and the big tilt mounts more for like a roost style I don't think would be appropriate so I'll figure something out on that but what I did want to do is I went down to Lowe's and you're now watching that video I think uh, I took Max and we jumped in a cart and went down and I <laughs> went and got this little tiny handle and we're going to install that on the frame of this uh, just so it has something for me to grab a hold of and just kind of carry it around so anyway, um, that's what I'm working on today. Uh, I think this thing's really cool. I'll get you some, I'll, I'll take this out and hook it up in a minute. I've been using the Phoenix right now to charge a bunch of stuff and, and play with it and just kind of figure out the different uses I could, I could do with it. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and install this uh, little handle on here, which was a couple bucks. watt panel are pretty sturdy panels um, I think I'll figure out a way to put just uh, a couple of uh, stand rods so I can just fold them out tilt it up I've got something that I, I didn't pay for and uh, and I appreciate that gift again and so anyway yeah let's go out and see if we can get the charge on this thing it 
up there. I'm gonna pull this over here. I'll tip it right there. So hopefully in the shade we can see the screen come on. All right. There's that guy. There you go. It's up and charging. So I just need to find me some uh, some little legs I can fold out. I'll look on Amazon. I'm sure there's something out there. Yeah, the little handle's kind of nice. A little cheapy thing, nothing big. Like I said, it's a light panel. And back to here. All right, guys. So we tested it out. Um, if I know it works. So if you're looking for an alternative to spending a lot of money on the eFlex 80 or bigger uh, in order to charge your little power stations, your little Phoenix power stations, um, this is another option. It's a 50 watt panel. Um, it it'll do anything you need it to. A lot of these were given away in the race store. So I have a feeling there are some sitting around like this one was in their closets. Um, little handle to carry it with. Um, this little cord, which I found an aftermarket one on Amazon, which I will link below. So you guys uh, keep that in mind. By the way, before I go, this little Phoenix 200 does not get the credit that I think it deserves sometimes. This, this little guy right here, is very versatile it does a lot um granted i wish i had the 500 or even the 1000 um they're a lot heavier but it'd be fun to play with anyways <laughs> maybe i'll get one down the road another thing is the little carry case that they're offering um it seems kind of gimmicky but i'll be honest with you this is really handy it's really handy for in and out of the truck or going places i just grab it up everything i need is inside it including this power cable and I can head out in real quick, fast, in a hurry. And also, if you saw my other video about kayaks, um, this entire setup fits inside the backpack for the boat kayaks. So, anyway, I'll catch you guys later. Oh. Inflate these little power stations. These small ones like this are perfect for these little boat kayaks.